and we are we're back Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in a I forget the aircraft but it's a um, Los helicopter. Angeles Center Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is Grand type one mile Canyon southwest of Canyon 8,100 feet. Airport. Request flight Indiana. following. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Los Angeles Center. Squawk 0025. Not too sure which. Squawk 0025 X-ray Golf Sierra. Outside. X-ray Golf Sierra radar contact one mile northwest of Canyon 8000. It is absolutely phenomenal. Altimeter 30 decimal one niner. Simulator. I can actually look around inside. Roger. X-ray Golf Sierra. I can get a, um, I'm going to get this. It's, um, it's a clip on head tracker um, it mounts on your hat and it's got a sensor thing so when you're flying in the simulator I can move my head around and I can look around the uh, wherever my head moves the camera angle will move just like I do with this with the mouse but when you do it with the mouse you lose control of the aircraft so I'm just trying to get it RPMs, you want to get in the green range. I was a little low. And there's other, uh, I'm not too familiar with the, uh, level 280. the helicopter, uh, controls. I do have it set for like an auto cyclic. So essentially, I just have one throttle on my flight stick, and I use a twist for what you normally do with your pedals. You see that move? It's your rudder turning the helicopter. Then I throttle up and down, and it automatically does the. Um, it's like a, two different controls. There's like a RPM and a, a cyclic. But if you're gentle and keep everything in the range, you see it on the, the green sector, and then you have the left one, it says 95%. I think that's like a power rating. Could be tar, but if you, anyways, if you do too, Alaska one four one heavy too traffic much is three o'clock four miles at flight level three four zero Airbus A twenty N. Report them in sight. Delta 353 heavy traffic is 1 o'clock, 4 miles at flight level 360 Airbus A20N. Throttle down. Sometimes when you're, when I got it, the throttle up, I can't move downward. Alaska 141 heavy have the traffic mid range. Alaska 141 heavy traffic is 1 o'clock, 4 miles at flight level 390 Airbus A20N. Approaching. Report them in sight. Southwest tree zero one two heavy traffic is five o'clock four miles at flight level three six zero Airbus A20N. Then after I report them in sight. Fly through here. Now it, it you probably look and you don't see Delta it. I see one window but there's two windows showing up. I think that's my NVIDIA um, experience recording. This is uh, comes with Alaska one four one heavy have the traffic. New cart. Driver set up. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. There's some housing down there. Southwest Tree 012 heavy traffic in sight. Cool. I'm not sure if they'd be like mainly researchers. I'm not sure if it's a regular community, but we're almost at the edge and I'm just going to dive right down into the valleys. Wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah. This is, like I said, 2024 is coming out. It's even better, but okay. no, really it looks phenomenal. Just amazing. How everything is close There's a little bit down there. Inside the Grand Canyon. Over this way and dive down this next 
tires are weird because you got a lot of torque issues. You got to know how to. In the, in the case of an engine failure, you got to auto rudder or auto spin down. You, you release the uh, rotor from the. Uh, acts kind of like a one of those, uh, those little helicopter things that come off of uh, trees and float down to the ground and it's called auto rotate that's the procedure so if you have an engine failure you can just come down for the first spot and then uh, pull back and softly cover down now you got to angle off the rotors I believe if that means that they go flat because you don't want too much resistance to slow you down then you just um, stall and fall like a rock You can always um, vary your your settings down. A lot of times I run them almost full out, depending on the system. But if I was running a slower, like my older system, it'd be you know mid range, so you can keep up. You got to have decent frame rate so it's smooth enough to fly. If it's twitchy, you're going to crash. So you're going to strike a balance between quality and frame rates which is just the the uh, number of frames per second which translates into smoothness but you have to have the horsepower to run that and mine I think I have enough with the processor I can run a, it's like a i7 comparable and 32 gigs of RAM and a 4060 Ti GPU video card so, but I may go up to 64 gigs of RAM, and who knows, maybe I will upgrade my video card eventually. But the, I'm going to get the Aviator edition of the uh, 2024 software, which you get some uh, collectible flight bag, and, um, really neat stuff, extra aircraft, uh, physical copy and box stuff that's you know you, you once it's uh launch you can never buy that again they usually discontinue it shortly within a year or so for these special editions or sometimes it's only pre-order only Get out, you land, get out of your aircraft and walk around. This one, you can't. But you can land and go to a different camera angle. Okay, come down. Go back. Wow, that was a fast, hard landing. Oh, yeah. 
Grand Canyon. I just wanted to film this. Show it. Pilot. Pretty hot. Alright. I gotta keep it behind just in case I accidentally switch angle. Very difficult to fly with your external camera. I don't even have a SETI set there, huh? I can't do more as a vegetation percentages. But that just sacrifices frame rates. You don't really need all that. I still have my gauges, which I can't see. Really helpful. Just so I don't overport. But precision-wise, it's always better to be inside. And let's see if we can get out and find an airport to land at. Very similar to uh, jet engine uh, pilots when you throttle off and spools down, and there's a hesitation to spool back up. So when you come in, spool down, but you don't drop it off too low. And then when you come down a bit, you anticipate to spool back up so that it's spooling up and ready on demand. So if you have to go around, if you need that little extra power. Like, so you get a, a downdraft, you want to power up just to get through it so you don't um, suddenly lose uh, altitude and plummet to the earth. So we're going to little throttle up, get some altitude. And I believe the top of this uh, plateau at the Grand Canyon, there is some sort of an airport or uh, city. But it will be cool getting that track so I can be looking up right now. I, I mean, I can't set it for the... Um, I can do it with the mouse. 
mouse or a hat switch, but it would be a little more intuitive. You don't have to do anything to move your head. Okay, let's have a look around. Well, there is something. That's a city. Well, there is some airports right there. I think that's where I took off. There was so much uh, tree and vegetation of a grand scale near um, above uh, Grand Canyon. I thought it was more of a desert rock. But there was lots of vegetation. all the sensitivity so it's not real twitchy. I move around, but I do feel the reactions from all the inputs, whether it's a little bit of rudder or turbulence.
the fuel guide. So bring over the fuel <coughs> the truck and refuel my aircraft. And that is Archer, and we will fly. I may have to get a new red shot. We're in the air, which is... Los Angeles dual, Center, Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf Sierra, is tank Boeing one mile fly. southwest of Canyon 11,500 feet. Request oh. flight following. Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf Sierra, oh, Los Angeles what? Center. Squawk 
back left, so now we're going to get out the Grand Canyon. Fly directly west, and we should hit Vegas. Some more Grand Canyon, we're in the west end. I guess it's banned, you can't actually go in this area. There's a lot of theories that there are a lot of uh, ancestral Egyptian uh, monuments and build the hospital. Los Angeles Center, Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra, 4,600 feet. Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra, Los Angeles Central Altimeter, 2-9er decimal, 9er tree radar, contact continue. And then back up. It is so graphically...
Oh, Scooby, I see you. I got Scooby, my doggy behind me, and we are back. I still haven't mapped out the afterburners and the uh, tiller wheel for when I'm on the ground. So when I'm on the ground, I can't steer up the runway. But you should, according to my pre-flight calculations, we have glass, we should look like Flyby on the Vegas Strip and then land with Henderson um, to the Las Vegas International. Heavy is, I do believe I got live aircraft. I don't have live weather on right now. Oh, so that's why I accept the weather. Okay. Airport command system. Look how we can go with it. Airport 
They load up and might stabilize. Goodbye. Ellis approach Boeing Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra at 4,500 feet. See if we can do a flyby without crashing and then I'll try to land if I can. Come on. Smooth out this way. 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 Smooth Oh, there's the dome. It's Goodbye. actually active. Look at that. Approach Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, 4,100. It's that, uh, sphere. A little concert for that. And it's out there. The night time is sick. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that thing. I'm getting a little bit of graphic uh, stutter. I think it's 740 for so long. What I'm going to have to do is I can adjust the weather. Maybe go to the night. I'm not going to do it on the fly. Calling X-ray Golf, the area, leaving my airspace. Wow, 
Contact Los Angeles Center on 124 decibels. Okay, we're slowing down. Good day. We're kind of coming to a landing. Got to slow down enough to drop my flaps. Go flaps down. Los Angeles Center. And once I get under 200, let me get under. I can see it feel real smooth now. I'm just going back up. Even though know, I keep going down. Go flat down. Okay, I'm going to level off. Looks like I'm going to do down. Level down. I want to... Okay, if I get too slow, i got to spool it back up. Spool down. Then look out to the right. There is a little bit of stutter in there. Oh, yeah, Sierra, contact Dylan's approach on 118 decimal 125. This is so cool. Good day. Okay, throttle down. 118 decimal 125. Get the airspeed down. And then drop it here. Nellis approach Boeing right. Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra 4,800 feet. Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, Nellis approach Altimeter, 2-9-Decimal, 8-7-Radar, contact, continue. Nellis Air Force Base. I'm going to go over back, check what that's here. Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra. Request clearance to transition Bravo Airspace. Here, 120, I'll be there for a lot of steps. Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, Nellis approach. Cleared through the Bravo Airspace. Yeah, so it's going to go by that sphere. Cleared through Bravo Airspace, Boeing X-ray Golf Sierra. And we're just going to come land. I, I don't need permission. Boeing X-ray Golf Sierra, contact approach on 120 decimal. We're doing 160. Good day. Got my red book. Oh, oh, going to 120 decimal. We're fighting Boeing X-ray Golf Sierra. Train with Dan. Approach Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, 4,500 feet. Those guys are doing 2.5. Boeing Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, approach altimeter. Radar contact that's continue. here. It's really cool. Concerts, it's not. I mean, it is really neat, but just for that function, they should have made it into like a, a dual sphere where you can live in it, have other events, and then that. Eh, but then again, I guess you don't want There's only one of those in the world. And go full by the sphere. There's Slow down. Oh, wow. Southwest 2350 heavy descend and maintain 7,000 feet. Down. Maybe landing around 120. Back around. Very cool. Very surprising. I 
can't, I don't have anything mapped out for the, the wheel, so I only got uh, rudder authority, but I gotta be going so fast. Brakes, and I should be able to stop here. That was so cool. Let's turn around, let's see what that aircraft had. There it is, we landed. We landed on top of each other. That was so bad. That aircraft landed with me on the same spot. And that was a great landing. Both had great landings. Like I said, I didn't get permission to land. Just decided to land. And that's what will happen in real life. So you end up with that major. Vapor. The engine. Look at the vapor. The heat vapor is modeled. And that's just an AI aircraft. Climbing and maintain 15,000 feet, keep speed out above Joe. That's so unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Not on Delta 2243 Heavy, have the traffic. Looking around. Look at all the other things. Pyramids, the lights. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Free entertainment cannot be needed. And this, like I said, 2024 is coming out in November, and it's going to be even better, which I, I cannot imagine getting any better than this, to be honest. That is it. Duke, out. Um, the Duke, left.